On my visits, I've seen many reminders that Beijing is an ancient city. But a visitor can't help but notice that change is in the air. Beijing is getting in shape. It's getting ready to play host to the world. On July the 13th, 2001, Beijing won the rights to stage the world's premier sporting event, the Olympic Games. When the announcement was made, the people of Beijing took to the streets to celebrate. The Olympic focus on excellence is a motivating force for change and transformation in the city. As host in 2008, Beijing has pledged to hold a Green Olympics. Billions of dollars have been allocated to improving the city. One hundred and fourteen kilometers of new subway lines and a light rail system are on track to ease the city's congestion. By 2007, 90 percent of the Beijing city buses and 70 percent of the taxis are scheduled to run on natural gas, helping to improve the city's air quality. Trees will cover 70% of the mountains surrounding the city and 23,000 hectares of green belt will be added along rivers and roads. The people of Beijing will clearly reap long-lasting benefits from the many changes being made for the Olympics and the Games promise to have a big impact on environmental awareness in China. There are hopes because I can see from the application letter to Friends of Nature, every week I can receive dozens of letters from ordinary people. I can see from this, these letters that the amount of awareness among the public are really getting higher and higher. In nature, you find everything. The most beautiful painting, the most beautiful music, the most complete philosophy. It has given my heart a kind of peace. Now I'm serving nature, and it is my greatest joy. I've been to many places, and I've seen many beautiful things that are slowly disappearing. It really hurts. Because I am a teacher, I feel that I need to do a lot more for the environment education. I think that my approach is a little bit different from those fresh out of school. I believe environment understanding must begin from the heart. Little specks of sun coming through the branches and big tall plants growing up by this narrow little trail. I think animals need us to help them quite a lot, don't you? Yes. <laughs> but you're all going to help to make it better, right? 
你们都会呃帮助，我们都会呃共同的保护环境，对吧 ？Hooray! But there are only 110 chimps in the national park. I think the most important message that I have for everyone is that every single individual matters, and that includes animals. Every single human being has a role to play in this life. Some people are still discovering what that is, but perhaps most important of all, every individual makes a difference every single day. You cannot live through a day without impacting the world around you, and we all have a choice what sort of impact do we want to make? Do we want to try and make the world a little bit better place? Or don't we care? It's as simple as that.